Everyone, my name is Python GB, and welcome back to the 25th episode of my Terraria 1.3 Let's Play. As you can see, we are currently on our way down to hell, and we're going to start off this episode by attempting to, well, not attempting to defeat, because it's going to be way too easy. We are going to be defeating the Wall of Flesh, because I really want to try and get myself the Warrior Emblem, because that thing... Reforged with Menacing is going to give us a whopping 19% increase melee damage, which would probably make this thing go over 100 damage, perhaps. I have no idea. But either way, I really want to get it. And something else I want to do in today's episode is attempt to defeat Plantera. We do, of course, have a bulb reasonably near the surface, which means things should be reasonably easy to do, I guess. The only real threat that we have is the fact that the bulb is quite near to the surface, so Plantera may spawn in enraged status, and I really don't want that to be the case, because that means things are going to get a lot more difficult. So, unfortunately, I don't have any guide voodoo dolls, so we do need to go ahead and uh, try and farm some of these voodoo demons out, so that's going to be pretty interesting, isn't it? Oh boy! Oh, these blooming more advanced hell mobs are spawning now. Oh, that's interesting. We might be able to get Oh, what is it? It's not an Inferno Fork. It's an Unholy Fork or something? Something like that? I don't know. It's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty damn powerful. It's a pretty decent mage weapon anyway. Right. Okay. So, we don't really have a great deal of choice other than to wait, I guess. So, yeah. I'm going to do a wee bit of farming and I'll bring you guys back once we have ourselves a Guide Voodoo doll. Oh, dang, blast it! <laughs> Wow. Unholy Trident. Ah, that's what it's called. There we go. I'm pretty sure that's the name of the weapon. God damn it. Well, I completely forgot how ridiculously powerful those guys are. They do like 120 damage a piece, which is absolutely ridiculous. But, uh, oh, well, it doesn't matter. Maybe we can get ourselves the weapon from them. But, yeah, aside from that, back to work. Ooh. Hellfire yo-yo? What the hell? Get it, get it, hell, what the hell, hellfire yo-yo? <laughs> oh, I made myself laugh. What the hell? Dude, that's awesome! I wish we could combine these two, man, that'd be amazing. <laughs> oh, look at you! Look at me, I'm using blooming hellfire yo-yos! This is awesome. Okay, that does 62 damage, that does 52 damage. I don't know if I'd be able to make it sort of draw with the amount of damage the ammo rock does, but I don't know. It's just a regular one. Anyway, yeah, back to it. Uh, well, that mimic appears to be going for a bit of a swim, and he's dead, and there's a star cloak down there. Do I really want to get a star cloak? Ugh. Uh, do not sort it. We're going to go for it. <laughs> Here we go, my friends. Time to get this thing on the way. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, Deathsicle, this is all you, buddy. This is all gonna be you. Oh, man. I'll tell you something. I took ages to get that blooming voodoo doll. I thought in 1.3 that the, uh, the spawn rate of voodoo demons in hard mode had actually increased, but I don't know, man. I would like to say if that's actually correct or not. Okay, and he's dead. What's that? A clockwork assault rifle. God dang it. That's not what I need. I need a warrior emblem, brother. Uh, we're not gonna get it today, are we? Let's let's be realistic. I don't think it's gonna happen. Right. In which case, I think it's time to go home. Time to go home, organize our inventory, and then I'm thinking a bit of a bombing montage for an area in the jungle. What do you guys think? Yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> Alright, so I'll meet you guys down in the jungle. Woohoo! I love riding this unicorn! <laughs> it's so freaking fast! It's brilliant! Look at it, man! Oh, I only got stuck. LOL! It's so good, though. It's so good. Alright, guys. We are now pretty much in the jungle now, which is amazing. Right, let's just remind ourselves of the bulb location. It is right here. Now, if we go further down, there is actually a pretty large room down here, which I would quite like to dig out. And I'm pretty sure I remember seeing somewhere about there we go another plantera bulb down there as well So we might be able to take him down twice or her down twice today. I don't know man. All right So as I was mentioning we have ourselves a bit of a bombing montage to get into
Alrighty guys, so I've been busy flying around, killing a bunch of stuff and doing a bunch of stuff for quite a while and I've also gone back to base and prepped a bunch of stuff, got a bunch of banners and what we're going to do now is we're going to hopefully get this little arena set up well I say little arena, but if you just see the size of this thing on the map it's just absolutely ridiculous we are going to make ourselves a large platform in the centre so I'm going to start it from here and we're going to go across all the way now the good thing about this is is, I don't know if this is a 1.3 feature, but you can actually hang banners off of the wooden platforms now. Which is pretty freaking sweet because it means you can, uh, you don't have to have solid blocks so you don't have to keep bumping into them anymore. You just need to have a hammer, you need to hit it a couple times, bada bing bada boom, you're all good to go. Oh my god, this is the only downside of having so much room. The mobs do not stop spawning, like ever. It's actually kind of ridiculous and also kind of annoying. Right, okay, so we're going to start off with a bewitching table. Going to have a... Get! You freaking dude! Get out! Alright, you're dead. Alright. So, campfire. Going to have... Uh, we're going to go ahead... We're going to do this. Put it on the bottom layer and I should be able to hang this. There we go. Oh, wait, what? What the... This is kind of strange. Oh, God damn it, God damn it, God damn it, and God damn it. There's so many dudes around here. I might wind up dying just because of this. I'll tell you something. This is just a pain in the ass. I can't do anything, man. <laughs> How can anybody work like this? Right. Bottom layer. Okay, right. Now can I hang it? No? Can I hang banners? Oh, that's weird. So I can hang banners, but I can't hang the thing. Hmm. Interesting. Well, that might be something to uh, put into the devs. That doesn't seem to work. Right, okay. So we're going to pull the banners down because obviously we're going to need as much, you know, damage as we can. One, two, three. And we'll have another three on this side. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So boom. Boom. All of this stuff is stuff that we might potentially get in here. So yeah, this is kind of why I'm doing this. Oh my goodness, there's so many things. What the hell is the barrage, man? They're everywhere. Jeez. These guys are relentless. I tell you something, these guys are a major pain in the ass. Right, okay. Uh, I guess we don't really have a choice apart from to actually have a block in here. Right, so we can have this. Alright, there we go. I'm thinking this will be enough to take down Plantera. And I'm hoping to take it down with... Oh, let's just go ahead and get our Phantom Dudes out. Where are they at? Phantom Dudes, boom. Boom, two of them, fantastic. The more damage per second, the better, buddies. Uh, okay. Ah! You're dead. Let's go over here. Let's just quick stack some stuff. Try to clean our inventory up just a wee bit. There we go. I'll do the job. The rest of it's some buffs, which is cool. We're going to go up. We're going to grab the plantera wolf. Well, not grab it. We're going to break it. And then we're going to head down here and then fight her. So, yeah. Meet you guys up there. All right, guys. It is that. Oh, good lord. What the? You have to interrupt me, don't you? All right. Here we go. Plantera has awoken. Right, now where is she? Oh, she's all- oh, she's there! Oh, blimey, this is gonna be kind of interesting. Alright, I mean, I guess we could do some damage as we go down, that's kind of alright. Wait, if we keep her inside of that, she won't do damage to us, right? Because she won't be able to shoot. Ooh! If we keep her on the walls, that might be a cool idea, actually. Come on, and 22k, she isn't even down to the bloomin' arena yet, what the hell? Are you actually attempting to move? Hmm? <laughs> this Deathsicle's doing a brilliant job! What can I say? What can I say? She's moving so slowly, so she clearly isn't in enraged mode or anything like that. She's gonna- she's in blooming second mode already, and we haven't even got down to the arena yet. This is just ridiculous. I don't even think we're gonna need the bus. Let's just pull it that way. Here we go! Alright, fat and dudes, get on with your job, buddies! Alright, 10k health, I've got 300 health left, which is fine, and I still have regen to use as well, which is, again, absolutely fine. This is, this is easy, isn't it? Let's be honest. I don't know why I was making such a fuss to make an arena. I mean, yeah, it'd be nice to fight other mobs in, you know, just farm a bunch of stuff. But as you can clearly see, it is no match against Plantera. It really isn't. Do, 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 do. Come on, Devsicle. You are a brilliant, brilliant weapon. I love you very much. And I thank you for uh, allowing me to defeat them. Sweet. All right, now. Oh, I've just realised something. We haven't found the Bloomin' Jungle Temple in this world yet. That's... that's bad. Because I'll probably wind up spending a very, very long time trying to find it. Because that's kind of what I do. 
Right, okay, so my other plans involve going into the jungle temple and hopefully grabbing myself some of them solar tablet fragments so we could spawn ourselves in a solar eclipse and then see all the new solar eclipse mobs. So, I'm gonna attempt to find the, uh, the, the jungle temple. Yep, and I'll be back, hopefully, once we find it. Eh, Titan glove, not bad. Not bad, found ourselves a little life fruit. Might as well use it, sweet. Another life fruit. Ah, oh, yee. Mmm. Life fruits taste so good. Huh. Well, this would have been a pretty lucky find early on in the game. Three heart crystals right next to each other. Awesome. Ah, ha, ha. There's those little dark bricks that I wanted to see for so long. Right. Now we have the task of finding the entrance, right? So... Okay, this is going to be pretty interesting. I'll bring you guys back, hopefully, if I manage to find the entrance. Well, this is pretty interesting. I'm finding lizard furniture on top of the temple. <laughs> okay, that's pretty interesting. What's that? Oh, it's nothing. Well, there's me thinking it was some sort of bathtub or something. Thanks for ruining my hopes and dreams again, Terraria. <laughs> All right, guys, I found the entrance to the temple. It's in a bit of a strange location. It's at lava level, which means it's pretty low down. Hmm. I don't know, man. Maybe I've gotten too used to having the uh, entrances be really far up, because that's how it's always been in the in previous uh, worlds. So, oh, wow. That really is low down, isn't it? Look at that. I think the best idea would be to just make a mini sort of elevator just going down to this jungle temple right here, which has been starting way, way up here. My god, that's gonna take a while. But anyways, guys, open it and bada bing bada boom. We have some things to do. Oh, good lord. I forgot there's traps all over the place in here, isn't there? Right, okay, here's what I am after. Solar tablet fragments. That is what I'm after. Awesome stuff. Uh, oh man, oh man. I need to organize my inventory, don't I? Okay, guys, we're gonna organize our inventory really quick. Back in a sec. Alrighty guys, we're back in action. I picked up them solar tablet fragments. And what we're now doing is I'm just going through... And destroying all of the pressure plates that I can, so... Yeah. It's kind of something I need to do, because otherwise I'm probably going to wind up dying, aren't I? That'd be very embarrassing, wouldn't it? Yes. Right, okay, I can see another trap down there, get broken. There are other ways of going through and doing this that are much, much easier, but... Uh, I don't know, I just find this method to be pretty, pretty cool. Uh, right, what else have we got? Power cell, nice. I'll pick up the rest of the stuff pretty much later, because, like I said, I'm mostly after the fragments for now. In fact, to be honest, I'm pretty sure I only need eight of them, right? So, let's actually go back to base. Let's do a bit of the old quick stacky action. There we go. Oh, wow, that's a whole bunch of it gone. Nice. I like that. Okay, uh, lunar stuff, solar eclipse, pirate invasion. So, one can go in there. We need to make a chest for lizard stuff, don't we? Endgame stuff? Maybe I can put that in there. Boom, 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 boom. And I believe what we need to do is go over here. It's early in the morning as well, so I guess now's as good as time as any to do this! A solar eclipse is happening! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Ladies and gentlemen, I should probably let you guys know that because we've defeated Plantera, we've got a whole bunch of new enemies to defeat, including the nail gun guy, the psycho knife guy. We've got all kinds of cool things. New drops from Mothron. It is absolutely amazing, and I'm looking forward to getting it all done. Oh, man. I'm not gonna lie. I envision us dying quite a lot. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, now, obviously from this, there's loads of things I can get. Actually, there really is. Terror Blade is just the start. There's so many other weapons that are really, really good. So, yeah, we're gonna try and get as many of them as we possibly can. So, I guess while we're doing this, my friends, we can jump into the question of the video. And for today, that comes from a user by the name of Justin Funkhauser. His question is, what do you think is the hardest mob in early expert mode? Ooh. For me, early expert mode. So, things you can come across pretty early on. I'd say Medusa. Because obviously Medusa can freeze you on the spot, and obviously once you're frozen on the spot, she will absolutely go ahead and destroy the crap out of you. So, yeah, that would have to be my answer to that. Oh man, look at this man. We're already getting drops. I'm pretty sure I saw a... Uh, oh, there it is! Butcher's Chainsaw. 168 damage! What?! 168 damage?! That's just craziness right there, dude! Oh boy. 
Hello, Mothmon, buddy! I need to go ahead and kill you, don't I? Because you now drop the Eye of Cthulhu yo-yo, which is an infinitely swinging yo-yo, which is fantastic. Ow. Taking damage. Can you, like, land, please, so I can kill you? Hmm? Is it, are you going to land? I want you to land. You're, you're not going to land, are you? Where'd he go? Ah, huh, that's weird. Broken Hero Sword! Mothron Wings! Drop school all my friends. This is what you get with the solo eclipse in 1.3 after you've defeated Plantera. It is just drops after drops after drops. I absolutely love it, man. Another Butcher's Chainsaw. Okay, already got our second sort of dupe drop. Oh, now you're ahead. Look at this guy. 4,000 health. He's like a mini boss. Kind of like the equivalent captain from the pirate invasion. Ah, that guy's dead. Nice. Oh, man, this is just brilliant, dude. This is brilliant. I love the solo eclipse so freaking much. <laughs> oh, it's so brilliant. Another death sickle. Okay. I was made aware that death sickles are no longer as rare as they were in 1.2, which is a bit of a shame because it means I got kind of really excited for no reason the previous time I got one, so that kind of sucks. Sort of bursting my bubble sort of thing. Oh, my God. This is just unbelievable. It really is. But yeah, I'm going to pass that question of the video on to you guys. Which mob do you fear when you come across it in early expert mode? Leave your responses in the comments area below. And of course, guys, if you want to leave your suggestions for the questions of the video, do so in the comments area below. And you will, of course, have a chance of yours being used and your name shouted out. I'll tell you what, let's try using this thing for a little while. Does it do... Yeah, it does a decent amount of damage. Look at it. Yep, that's cool. That is cool. I just can't believe how epic this event is now. In 1.2, I mean, yeah, it was still reasonably difficult to survive against, but my god was it kind of boring after a while, eh? But now it's just like, yep. I, I can actually stick my teeth into this and enjoy it, and I am very much so. So thanks to Aria Devs for bringing in epic dudes into the 1.3 solo clips. Psycho Knife obtained. Awesome. I really want to get the nail gun because the nail gun is just the most ridiculous weapon in the entire world. It shoots out nails, but not just nails, they explode. They explode. The nails from the nail gun explode. And it's just so freaking cool. I'm not gonna lie, I apologize if you get sick of the sound of this uh, death sickle, but it is just such a good weapon to use, it really is. Goes through surfaces, what else can you ask for? Like, for real? What else can you ask for, apart from a weapon that goes through something? Mothron! Bye, buddy. This is where I come in. Oh, here we go. This is where I do damage. Come on, then. Python will see you now. Maybe I should try using one of the new weapons I obtained. I don't know. Could be a cool idea. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, I have Cthulhu Yo-Yo just dropped. Okay, that thing is epic. I really want to get that, actually. Like, now. Preferably. Okay. Oh, I have Cthulhu Yo-Yo. There we go. Superior. Oh, my God. This is just so cool. Okay. You're dead. Right. I have Cthulhu Yo-Yo. 162 damage. This is just the stupidest thing. Here we go, guys. Ponage commences here. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to die. Okay. I'm not looking forward to dying, I must admit. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Oh, damn it. There we go. Deadly Sphere killed me. Interesting. You can get the Deadly Sphere staff from that guy. And it's not deadly as in that's the prefix. It's called the Deadly Sphere staff. So you can get a Deadly Deadly Sphere staff. Which is just stupid, let's be honest. All right, boom. Thank you for the health, buddy. Let's have some more from the uh, nail head over it. You can die, thank you very much. And you can die, and so can you. If you drop the eye spring, I'll be very, very happy indeed. But let's be honest, you probably won't, because that's how this game works. Although, do you know what? I shouldn't criticize it due to the amount of drops we've had. I feel like I should put this thing up. Boom. Get some more damage against these dudes. All right, so we've got Frankenstein banner. Yep, go in there. Swamp Thing banner. Yep, you go in there. Fritz banner. Yep, you go in there. Much more damage against these guys. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I love this yo-yo. It's like among the best yo-yos. It's not the best yo-yo, but it's up there, man. It's definitely up there. The fact that it's infinitely swinging is just so cool. Right, here we go. Here's a bunch of dodes that needs to be killed. Okay. 
Hi, Reaper. Come on, then. Hi, Fritz. Dude. Oh, oh, gotta get out. Gotta, gotta get out. Gotta, gotta get out. And health. Hi, Moth One. See how good this weapon is? Look, he's already down to a thousand health. And he's dead. That's it. He's, he's dead. He's already dead. <laughs> I just love how much stuff you get from this plummet thing now, man. Oh, I love this event. Oh, dear. Come on, man. Can we get one of every drop? We haven't had many. Oh, this is the guy I want to kill. He drops a toxic flask, I believe. We haven't got that yet. At least to my memory, we haven't. Okay. All still going well. You need to die. That guy does a lot of damage, doesn't he? Like, a proper, like, ridiculous amount of damage. Alright. Come on, peeps. Y'all need to die. Doesn't appear to be many people spawning now. Which is a bit of a shame. Ow. What the hell was that? Oh, that was another deadly spear staff. Well, not staff. Just the deadly spear. Dang guy. <laughs> Look at you. I really want to get the staff, though. I'll be quite an upgrade from my fat imp dudes. Oh. Leave me alone, brother. What the hell? Alright, you're dead. Where did I die? I want my coins back. Come on. There we go, Mr. Nail Dude. You're dead. Fantastic. Right. No, I don't remember dying over here. So, yeah, it's way back over this way. Unless I've already picked them all up. In which case, cool. Oh! Oh! Fall! Oh, I'm gonna die again, aren't I? Oh, blimey. Oh, blimey! Go on, cheese it. We're gonna cheese the fight. Hi! Should I try and use the chainsaw for a little bit? See how good it is? Or bad? Whatever. I don't know. Alright, here we go. Hey, Nosey. Thank you very much. Alright, superior. 168 damage. Ridiculous. My god, here we go. Whoa! Okay! This thing is pretty freaking sweet. There we go, and... I'll get some health back in a sec. Oh, you're dead. You guys are all dead. <laughs> I like how the nurse is actually trying to fight them all. That's amazing. Go, I'll, I'll save you. I'll save you. As long as I'm alive. As long as there's a single breath in my body, no one shall kill you. Oh, I see you. Get over it. Right, you're dead. All right, who else wants to go? Oh, there's a nail dude in here. This guy needs to die, like now. Oh, there we go. Oh, God, I'm going to die. Oh, blimey. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Nursey, heal yourself! Oh, sorry. I thought the blooming goblin was a hostile person, but he isn't. <laughs> Lol. There we go. Oh my god, they've invaded the house. Sorry, guidey! You're about to die, probably. Ow. Ow. There we go, you're dead. Alright, fantastic. We've still got a pretty uh, significant amount of time out of this, haven't we? Oh, mm. man. <laughs> I think you get the gist, though, with how many ridiculous enemies there now are in this invasion. So, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. I'll tell you what. What we're going to do. Oh, blimey. Here we go. Oh, come on. If I can keep him near me, I can do a ridiculous amount of damage. And you're dead. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. There's, there's a sphere, dude. Oh, dang it. He killed me. Dang, blast it. <laughs> oh, no. I need to kill everybody. I think I might switch back to the yo-yo. Alright, uh, yo-yo. Oh, that's right. I need to... Ah, name's Amy. Awesome! That's a cute name. I like that. Come on. Do, 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 do. Everybody's dead. Everybody's dead. Including me. My, uh, my arena seems to be turning into some sort of graveyard. Which I must admit, I'm slightly concerned about. Because, you know, it won't do very well on, like, tourist guide places, you know. If people want to visit this place, I'm pretty sure they won't want to be seeing, you know, the, the blooming graves everywhere. That's not good. That's not good. <laughs> oh, someone else was dead. Dead. All right. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Something made a weird noise. That was strange. Another butcher's chainsaw. My God, we've got like three of those things. Four. We have four butcher's chainsaws. Blimey, that's a bit OP, isn't it? 
Hmm. In before they nerf the drop rate of the uh, stuff from this event. They t they're totally going to do that now, aren't they? Oh, God. All right, come on. Hello, possessed. There's a bunch of people in this invasion which are, like, completely useless, aside from just killing you. Like, they just don't drop anything. All right. Hi. Creature of the deep. All right, all of you lot have got to die. Hi. Okay. Strange noises again. I have no idea what it is. Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> Those psycho dudes look, sound like they're laughing when they get hurt. Lol. Interesting. All right. Oh, God. You're dead. As are you. As are you. Okay, cool. I feel like the amount of dude spawning is, like, reduced or something. Oh! Okay. Still would really like... Oh, God. Okay, okay, I got the message. I got the message. You want to kill me? I got the message. I still want the nail gun and the deadly spear staff, man. If we can get either of those two, I'll be very, very happy. Because both of those weapons are very, very good indeed. Come on, man. Come on, I want those little floating balls. Come on. All right, you're dead. Anyone else want to go? Mm. Hey, buddy. Little Fritz dude. You're dead. So are you. Butcher. Yeah, Reapers. No, these aren't the guys I need. Hmm. I don't know, dude. I haven't got high hopes for this. Seems to be a lot of butchers spawning, which is kind of weird. Maybe there's some sort of spawning condition. Uh, oh, hey. I, uh, no staff. Dang it. This guy might actually wind up killing me this time. There we go. Damage galore. And you're dead. And so is the egg. Okay, cool. We're going to be able to make so much stuff after this. Well, I say so much stuff. I uh, specifically mean the terror blade. And then we're just going to have like the most ridiculous set of weapons like in the entire world. It's going to be so ridiculous. Right. Ow! Ah, oh, still no sign of a staff. Come on, man. Come on. You can do this. <laughs> Those bloody psycho dudes literally are invisible. You can't see them very well. Hmm. We've got about 10 seconds left, by the way, of this entire event. Oh, man. Oh, man. Come on. You're our last hope. Are you going to give us the nail gun? Nail gun? Nah, no nail gun. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the 1.3 solar eclipse with every single thing inside of it. Let's just... Oh my goodness. Look at the amount of stuff we have. This is so stupid. Psycho knife. Another death sickle. One, two, three, four. Butcher's chainsaws. A superior eye of Cthulhu. Mothron wings, which we're going to go ahead and put on. Uh, wow, those are ridiculous. I mean, just... Oh my lord. I can't believe it, man. And without further ado, we have no reason to delay it now. Uh, what is it we need to do? We need that. We need to go into our weapons chest. We need to get the Excalibur out. And this is it. We're making we're making it, dude. The Terror Blade. Blimey O'Reilly. 121 damage. We can get something better out of that. I swear to God. All right, we can do this. If we get Legendary, I will literally, like... Nasty's pretty good. Shameful, ruthless. Oh my, look at that, 143. Dude, these weapons we have now. Look at them. This is stupid. It, what? <laughs> Gollum won't even be a challenge. Blimey. Alrighty, guys, I apologize for the extended episode. Well, actually, I don't apologize. You know, it's 25 episodes. We've done a pretty nice amount of stuff in today's episode, but yeah, we will be ending it for today. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the episode and, of course, you're excited to see more, be sure to drop a like rating, my friends, and, of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. I'm so happy with all the stuff we've got today. I really am. Like I said, you know, Gollum won't even be a challenge. We'll be able to take him down with absolute ease in the next episode, I imagine. But yes, guys, thank you very much for watching. Your support has been much appreciated, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.